Hi, this clip explains some interesting weaknesses SQL has on database processing. Let's analyze a simple one with the intersect operation. We are going to use this example for the explanation. There are two possibilities for formulating queries in a database. One is using the SQL intersect operation and the other one is using the traditional SQL. An example of the first possibility is this. As you can see, the intersect operation consider the tuples 2, null in both relation variables as if they were duplicates. Look at the result. This is not necessarily correct because null can correspond to different values. Something similar happened with other tuples. In the case of the second possibility, the intersect operation can be stated as a join of both relation variables RA and RB, including in the condition all the common attributes. In this case, observe the fact that in the conditions SQL consider one null different to other null. That's why it doesn't include tuples with null. Look at the result. This result is completely different from the one that we obtained using the operation intersect, being both queries logically equivalent. This query should give us the same answer, but no, as we saw, the answers are different. Now we are going to, to see a more complex one. The condition in any and exists don't behave in an equivalent way when we have no or the empty set in the expression. In this example, see the no in the codes A3 and A4 in ADM. In this case, no is considered missing information. The query, get the bank names which doesn't have ADMs in Madrid. In the case of the first query, we are using not in. In the case of the second query, we are using not any. The result of this, these two queries is the empty set. Now, examining in more detail, we see that the result of the subqueries is null in both cases. Therefore, we are in the cases not in null and not any null. But this result is not correct because it's not known neither bank's code of the ATM A3 nor the city of A4. Therefore, the answer should be unknown. The following query is equivalent to the ones on the left using the condition exist. The result of this query is a list with all bank names of the relation variable bank. Now, examining in more detail, in this case we see that the result of the subquery is the empty set. Then, we are in the case of exist empty set. And if the condition exists has the empty set as its only element, then the expression is false. And with the boolean operator not, in the expression we obtain true. Therefore, we get all bank names. So far in this case, three equivalent alternatives have been given in the solution of the query with two different results. In the first two, we had the empty set as a result. On the other hand, in the later case, 
we get a list with all bank names. This is a very relevant problem, which can lead us to misinterpret the result. Because the three queries should give us the same answer. If you need a more complete explanation of the weaknesses SQL has, you can visit my website or contact me. Thank you for watching.